Firstly, in it is imitation of them and acceptance of their disbelief, while Islam has forbidden imitating the disbelievers in what is exclusive to them, meaning their religion. Secondly, in these festivals, they are innovations in the religion of Allah the Exalted. Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, It's for prohibited to congratulate the disbelievers for the ritual exclusive to them according to the agreement of the scholars. Such as congratulating them on their festivals by saying greetings to you or greetings to you for this festival, etc. Even if the person saying this doesn't fall into kufr disbelief, yet it is from what is prohibited. However, meaning refraining from congratulating them doesn't display bad mannerism and disrespect. For indeed, refusing to take part is not disrespect. Rather, it distinguishes a Muslim in their beliefs and symbols from other. For this reason, it is allowed to accept gifts from them. And it is not considered as taking part or agreeing with their festivals. Rather, it is accepted to show good manners, soften their hearts, and call them to Islam. As long as it isn't something they have specifically slaughtered for their festivals. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, As for accepting gifts from them on their festivals, then we have mentioned regarding Ali bin Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, that he was given gifts from Nairuz, meaning a Persian festival for the beginning of their year, and he accepted them. Abu Barza narrated that some of the Majus, Majans, who resided with him, offered some gifts during their festivals and rituals. So he would tell his family, Eat what they give you, of the fruits, and as for the slaughtered animals, return it to them.